tank tops and flip flops. Talk about only in Texas, right? <laughs> It's <laughs> truly, I know this is so confusing. Confusing, it's just madness. This whole year of weather has been a little bit odd. Uh, certainly, it's been uh, unusually wet, as we've talked about, the wettest uh, start to any year that DFW is recorded. Now we're going to see another one of those big season changes from today to tomorrow. So hang on. Uh, we'll start with today. Today's the summery field. It's going to be more of the same from yesterday. It's actually, though, even warmer. It was a nice sunrise early on this morning. Then we've seen some of those clouds to kind of roll in. But now we're watching as they roll back out. So they are moving off to the east. You can kind of see some of that blue sky through Dallas right now. There's drier air filling in with a dry line working its way towards us. That's going to help erode those clouds for the afternoon. That's going to help us to warm up very, very quickly with dry, warm air in place. So here's what we're talking about. We are going to be chasing after a record today. The record high on April 8th is 93, and that's what I'm going with on the forecast, 93. So uh, at least maybe tying it, maybe we push past it. We'll have to keep an eye on those numbers. Right now, though, DFW Airport, where we get the official number for a record, it is at 80 degrees, so we still have a ways to go. Humid, 70 is the dew point, so extremely humid air, but again, expecting some drier air to move in with that southwest wind at 13 miles per hour, and that should help to shoot those numbers up quickly today. Right now, 79 from Keller. We've got back west where we'll see that warmer air, 82 for Bridgeport, 81 for Decatur, and 78 degrees for both Fort Worth and Dallas right now. Rest of the day, though, it's a fast climbing trend, 93, again, the high, seeing an increase in sunshine, a decrease in those clouds, and it will stay very warm even heading into tonight. Now, another thing that's going to stay the same, the pollen count is a tough one for us. High levels today expected to stay that way tomorrow, but I think we could see improvements late this week as some rain returns. Look at this. Cold front tomorrow, 93 today, 67. You can't make this stuff up. 67 tomorrow with a 30% chance of rain. So let's time it out real quickly with you. A cold front swinging through early tomorrow. Temperatures dropping after the morning. Clouds are heavy. Some light scattered showers can be expected in the afternoon, especially south of I-20. We get a little bit of a break, I think, on Friday, but here comes our next system. This one, more of a significant rainfall. Widespread showers and maybe some strong storms by Saturday afternoon. And then another drop in temperatures as we look ahead to next week. Certainly not boring around here, Karen. <laughs> That's right. Keeps you very busy. Annalise, thank you so much. <laughs>